Hello, this is Ricardo Iraeta, and I am the Six Sensors Product Specialist for e &M. Today, I am doing a review on the new photoelectric sensor from SIG, the H18. The H18 has got a hybrid design. You can mount it either using the M18 thread or using these two mounting holes. The H18 is the most versatile sensor from SIG. Uh, it's available either with the fuse, bicron suppression, foreground suppression, through beam, retroreflective, or um, there is even a variant for detecting clear objects. Uh, the H18, it is available in AC or DC variants. Um, you can also get it with infrared, lasers, or LEDs. Um, when it comes to the connections, it's available with M12, M8, and flying leads. Uh, this new H18 sensor has got an IP69K rating. What that means is that this sensor can withstand high pressure washdown. The housing is a plastic housing. However, it's not regular plastic. It's a hybrid uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic. And let's give it a try to see how tough it is. I'm gonna hit it a few times. As you can see, the sensor is working. I'm gonna hit it a few times with the hammer. And as you can see, sensor still working. You probably noticed by now that this sensor is available with these LEDs on the back. You can get it with or without. These LEDs on the back is the way that it's a way of, uh, for the sensor to talk to you and tell you how much light is getting back. These um, LEDs are very useful especially if you're aligning two sensors like through beam or when installing a retroreflective sensor. Typically when you're installing a retroreflective sensor you mount the reflector and then as soon as the sensor sees the reflector either this light will turn on or off depending on the variant. In this case it should turn on. As you can see. Now I'm really close. So a typical mounting once you see that light turns on you would say okay I'm good and then you, you would just leave it. Now using these LEDs you can see that I'm barely here in the, the corner of the reflector. A typical mounting scenario you will just leave it there. Um, but if you can see if you do that any misalignment any vibration or misalignment will cause the sensor to fail. So you can take advantage of these LEDs to mount the sensor in the most effective way. This sensor offers you a lot of value for your money. Uh, pricing starts at around $67. So overall, when you buy this new H18 sensor from SIG, you're getting a lot of bank for your buck. And pretty much this is what I have from the new photoelectric sensor from SIG. Remember, it's the new H18. Thank you.